All right, so let's just jump right into this thing. So the, this is just a follow-up of the video that I did from yesterday. And I just want to explain a couple things that happen in the spirit, and maybe it'll help someone out. Um, when someone listens to a video and they believe it, okay, and they start walking, all you have to do is make up your mind to start walking. If you say, oh, amen, hallelujah, I, I believe this, what he's saying is right, okay? What that does is that opens you up. It's kind of like repenting. It's almost the same thing as repenting and changing the direction in which you go, all right? So what happened is someone yesterday did that. They changed positions by listening to one of my videos. And this is how I know my videos are setting people free, okay? These videos I'm doing, they're for a purpose. They're to enlighten you. They're to inspire and spark a, a match of faith that sets your whole body on fire, okay? And when someone listens to a video that I put out that is from the Holy Spirit, that is from Yah, I'm not just a talking head. What I say is inspired by Yah. It's inspired by our God. Okay? So when someone believes it and they start walking in it, what happens is the enemy. Like I had this dream where this girl, okay, she um she was being held hostage. Okay? Somewhere. And she packed herself up into a suitcase. And someone took the suitcase and walked it out. And then I got the suitcase with the girl in it. And we were hiding out like in this hotel. And the police in the dream were going door to door in the hotel looking for the girl. Okay. Now in real life, it may not even be a girl. It may be a guy, but in the spirit, it was shown to me as a girl. So it, it quite possibly is a real female. But this is where it gets interesting because the police that were knocking on the doors, they were busting in rooms and they busted in the room that was right next to ours. So they were coming next to the room I was in. They were searching everything, pulling everybody out, searching from the ceiling down, front to back. And there were so many of them, there was no way we were going to get out. We were about to get busted. We were about to get caught. And I woke up right before we got caught. All right. So in real life, what am I saying? In real life, what this means is someone agreed and they started walking. They took a step of faith. When you think about the prodigal son, the son took a step of faith. He simply said in his heart, my father, servants have more than enough to eat. I'm going to go back to my father. And when he took the step of faith by just speaking, what happened? The father met him came while he was still a long ways away and met him. So when you by faith accept a message that I spoke, because it's by the spirit of Yah, the father runs to you to rescue you from the situation you're in, which is why the girl, she was, she folded herself into a suitcase so she can be carried out right in front of the enemy without the enemy knowing what it was that happened. But once the enemy find, found out, he sent his people to go and search her out because he wanted her back. See, the enemy, he hates to lose his people. These videos go into the world and whoever may find it, whoever runs across these videos, when they listen and by faith they accept the message, it really does something to them. And it really does something in the spirit world where the enemy now is furious. The enemy's like, you keep taking people from me. 
So I got to come and fight you. Now, the battle is mine to fight. And I don't mind fighting the battles for every person that hears my videos in faith. But I want you guys to understand what happens. What happens on both sides. So whether this person ever comes back to my videos and watches another one, because I didn't get a new subscriber or anything, so this person may never even come back. But I want you guys to, to understand what happens. You see, when you give a word and someone accepts it by faith, now you are the caretaker of that person because the enemy will come in to try to remove that person from the kingdom of light, from the kingdom of Yah, to the kingdom of darkness. And this is why I say I'm not a fan of drive-by preachers because drive-by preachers, they don't have um, the wherewithal to pray for each individual person that changes their mind, that goes from listening um, to, I don't know, a pastor or someone else's message who is not inspired by Yah to a, a message that is inspired by Yah. You see, there's a, there's a big, um, how do you say it? There's, um, you have work to do when someone changes their mind because that person in a way becomes your disciple. And it is so important that you start discipling that person as soon as possible. You try to get them to continue to watch your videos because the enemy will come back around. It's kind of like the parable of the sower of the seed. Some seed fell on different grounds, right? But we're trying to get people who are fertile ground, good ground, not rocky, not, you know, in the cracks, you know, but good ground. Birds don't come and eat it, you know. We don't want the enemy because the enemy comes in different forms to pull the seed back out. The sun will scorch it. Um, different things can happen to the seed, which is the word that goes out. So I will be praying that this person continues their faith, continues their walk, continues in the truth. And everybody who listens to truth videos who is from Yah, they're going to experience these things. And I think the experiences are amazing to see how the enemy gets so upset and goes on a rampage to try to figure out who did they lose. As soon as he realizes, oh no, you took someone from me, the enemy is coming. He will come and he is not playing with you. He will do whatever he has to do to take you out. Which is why I say, you know, you guys, I want y'all to get this. I don't want this to be a mystery. I don't want these things that happen to be something that, oh, this is insider stuff. You know, I, I don't believe y'all are worthy of understanding this. Even though I don't have people listening to very much of my videos right now. One day people will. One day the right people will listen. And I want to give them the information that there's things that happen in the spirit that we don't understand completely. But as we get a little bit of understanding, I want to share that so it removes that gray area of people saying, I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why when I share my faith with someone, I get nightmares. I don't know why when I share my faith with someone, these different animals, these different creatures, these different things start hunting me down, start trying to grab me and hurt me um, in my dreams. Okay? These things happen in our dreams, in the spirit, to try to scare us to try to keep us from doing Yah's work. It's the enemy's way of saying, you're doing something that's hurting me, and now I got to try to hurt you. We can't really do anything to you. I mean, if you think about like Job, right? The enemy was allowed to touch Job only so far. It could take his family, his property, his things, but the enemy couldn't take everything from Job. The enemy couldn't touch Job. Okay. 
So this is what I want you guys to understand. The enemy can try to scare you. The enemy can try to intimidate you, but he can't really touch you. Okay? Not right now, unless the Lord allows him to. He can't really touch you. So don't be afraid of those dreams. When you share the gospel and it's really, really from Yah, and the Spirit of the Lord is really working with you, you're going to get these attacks. I love it. I live for these attacks because it lets me know I'm doing what's right. If you're not getting any attacks when you share the gospel, if, if someone gives their life to the Lord, if you lead someone to the Lord and you don't get attacked, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. So I just want to encourage you guys with this. I had other dreams along the same lines. And I believe it was for each person that listened to it. Um, they were all kind of the same. Some were weird animals. They were being tamed. <laughs> so I think it was someone who was a leader of a group um, that, you know, had these weird looking animals that I've never seen before in nature. Weird looking. But the thing is, I want you guys to understand where this comes from. It's the enemy trying to scare you. Okay? Um, be encouraged, you guys. Continue to spread your faith. Continue to, number one, search out the truth. Number one, search out the truth. Number two, obey it. Walk in it yourself. Okay? You're not doing much good if you're not walking in the truth. Remember, Paul spoke about the ox. Don't stop the ox from eating as it treads. As we work in the field of um, spreading the gospel, spreading the good news, showing people the truth, we're supposed to be eating as well. Okay? We're supposed to be taking in the same information and it's supposed to be changing our lives at the same time that we're changing others' lives. That means you don't have to have it all together. You don't have to be perfected. You don't have to wait until you're at this level, you know, that you think you're, I don't know, at the level of the, of the apostles or Yeshua. You don't have to be up there. You just have to be walking in your faith. And as you learn, you teach. As you grow, those around you grow. Okay? So first you have to be a student of it. You walk in it, and then you can teach it. All right? Be encouraged, you guys. Let's go out there. Let's win souls. Let's make disciples. I got to start working on some um, cell group videos. We're going to get into some... Um, encounter weekend type videos where we are getting rid of the, the weights of this earth, this world, where we're getting set free. Okay? Um, and then we'll transform all that into prayers and different things to helping other people out as well. We'll see y'all in the next videos. Have a good one.